Howdy guys, in the Pixel here. So what we're going to do in this next section of the Intro to Vex series is we're going to actually do a little more of a project-oriented set of videos. All right, so we've learned a lot, you know, throughout the last six videos in the Intro to Vex series. What I want to do is actually start to apply it to an actual practical type of project. And in this case, I just picked a, a low-poly tree because the low-poly art style is really popular right now, and um, it's also simple enough such that we don't need to dive into really, really complex uh, stuff just yet. Um, it's a great kind of intro to, you know, taking all the concepts that we've learned and tying them all together um, into an actual project. All right, so what we have here is a set of low poly trees. Now, what I did is I went and created a an HDA. And in this HDA, what we can do is we can um, go and create a bunch of different variations of low poly trees really quickly. All right, so you don't have to go and model them by hand. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just kind of quickly roll through some of these features here. We're going to set all of this up throughout the next set of videos here. All right, so what we can do is we can change the height of the tree here. All right, we can uh, manipulate the, the shape of the trunk here. Uh, we can tell the branches where to start. All right, so if you want them really low or if you want them to start really high up, okay. Uh, we have also the inverse of that. We can offset the top, right? Uh, we can change the amount of branches that we have. So we have a lot of tree branches there, and it really does make a nice little shape there for us. So we can have just a few, okay? And we can go and um, jitter the points on the branches to get different looks as well, all right? So you can really start to come up with a style uh, for yourself. Uh, we can also change the rotation on the branches. This is the spiraling type of technique that we uh, learned. I think we learned it in video two actually. So um, we're going to apply that now to an actual project here. All right. And yeah, we have a bunch of different properties here that allows us to go and just create different looks. All right. So if we had expand this down a little bit more and maybe select this guy and use the increment ladder, we can change the, the shapes of those branches so you can start to get some really weird looks there. All right. All right. So that's why I wanted to show this off because it's a great way to start to apply all the knowledge that we've learned uh, so far inside of VEX. So we're going to utilize quite a bit of VEX uh, for this, but nothing too crazy. So um, it won't be overwhelming. All right. I, I do want to keep this all still an intro series. It's easy to, you know, get a little bit um, glossy eyed or I, I should say bright eyed when you're wanting to learn VEX because you see all these very advanced techniques out there and, you know, it's good to, to start with the basics. Uh, we can change the foliage scale here, make it really tiny. All right, we're going to go through and set all this up with uh, VDBs as well. That's why all these um, meshes are for the foliage up on top or the leaves is all blended together. All right, and we can change the color, and we can change the reduction on the trunk. And you can also change the reduction on the actual leaves themselves there, so you can get it to be a little bit higher res, but, you know, I want that low poly look like so. That's pretty cool. All right, so throughout the next set of videos, we are going to learn about how to set this all up, how to set up the HDA for this so that you can use it inside of Unity or inside of Unreal using the Houdini engine. Or you can just use it straight up inside of um, Houdini here uh, to create lots of variations of trees that just get exported out to an FBX. OK, so let's move forward and start to set up our low poly tree HDA. Thanks so much.